Hello, welcome to this video. Today, we are going to read an article. By reading the article, we will look at a test type called informational texts. As a reader, we are going to learn what an informational text is and what characteristics that informational text have. Before we start, take this time to pause the video and get your English textbook ready. Then, turn to page 98. What is an informational text? It is a unique type of writings which gives you information on a specific topic. It's always non-fiction. You will see it in different media like newspaper, reference materials, research papers, and your textbooks. An informational text contains a number of aids that make it easier for readers to follow along and get the information they need. First, written cues. In addition, graphics or illustrations and organizational structure. In this video, we will only talk about the first two features and we will look at the last one in another video. We will start by looking at written cues. Look at this article. You should notice some written cues in the article. Can you see the bold words? Bold words create emphasis and tell readers this is important. Authors use bold words for the heading and the subheadings and sometimes labels to denote importance. Informational text usually contains graphics or illustrations to help readers understand the subject. Look at this informational text. Photos help visualize the context of the text or content of article. For those who struggle with the word corals, the photo will tell you what corals are. Apart from using photos, for illustrative purposes, you might also find the other visual aids like float diagrams, sketches, and maps in informational texts. In the end, let's have a very quick summary. We have looked at the informational text. It is a special type of writings which gives us information on a particular topic. Besides, it's always non-fiction. An informational text contains a number of features that make it easier for readers to understand the text. The features covered in this video include written cues and graphics or illustrations. For the last feature, we will talk about it in the next video. Don't miss it. I hope this video is helpful. See you next time. Bye-bye.